welcome back guys so this is chapter number six and this is section 6.1 of our chapter here we are going to discuss the applications of the combinational logic and all the circuits which are deploying the combinational logic in our chapter okay so uh, today's topic is half and full adders okay so this is a half and a full adder and this is question number one okay so what is question number for the uh, full adder of figure 6.4 so this is the 6.4 figure the overall figure is the 6.4 determine the outputs for each of the following inputs okay so a is uh, this one for b we have a different combinations for a b and c in and for c i have different combinations for a b and c okay so what is basically a b and c let me see that so uh, as we can see here that we have two inputs which are let me use the separate color for it we have two inputs which are a b and while this input carry is uh, for the carry which we can get from the other full adder okay so this is what we have so what is the usage of it so we can see that if we have a the adder okay so this is the adder one this is adder two okay so let me see that let me let me call it the two bit adder which is which are connected with each other so uh, each adder he has three inputs okay so what are these three inputs and the two outputs okay uh, similarly this one two three three inputs and two outputs okay so what are these inputs so first of all we will have what a and b which are the two bits which we have to add together so just like i have one zero and i have to add with it one one okay so if i want to add them together what i will have here first of all i will have to add them together i will add them and i will get the output of it here so let me call it a and let me call it b so, okay so all of the sequence it has is this a and this sequence one one is b okay so the first bit will be applied here similarly uh, what we will get here will be what this will be the sum okay so not only the sum I can get, I can also have the carry out prompt output from it. So if I will have here 1, 1, what I will get, I will get here the sum equal to 0. And here we will have also the 1 which will be carried to the other combination which will be here. Okay. So uh, let me have here the sum. Okay. And here will be the output carry. Okay. Similarly, here I will have A and B here what will I have here it will be the sum and it will be the output carry okay what will happen this is here C in and C in here as well what is this these are the carries which will be feed it from the previous adder so if I have this output carry here it will be feed it here to this input carry which will be the next adder okay so we can see that here a two bit carry will be added together so here in this example what i will have here the first input will be zero the second will be one okay and the c input which is the carry input which it will be zero in this case okay similarly here we will see that by adding them together what i will get is sum will be one and the output carry will be zero okay so this zero will be uh, here and the second combination I will have here will be 1 1 these 1 1 will be added together and what I will get here I will get here 1 sum will be what sum will be 0 and the carry will be 1 okay so this will be the combination here I am not going to discuss this one here but it is for your understanding so let me start uh, working over these things which we have here and we will discuss that how these different uh, combinations of a b and c in will give me the outputs okay so let me remove it so let me remove all the things which i have done previously okay okay so uh, let me have my first combination and that is a equal to zero b equal to one and c input equal to zero okay so we can see that here again we have here so let me use the same diagram which is here so here i have this zero here it is one and this is zero again so when this zero will be added together the output will be one this zero one zero 
the sum of it is we can see that 0 plus 1 plus 0 this is what this is 1 and the, we can see that this 1 can be represented by this combination. So, therefore, the carry which we will have here will also be 0. Okay. So, therefore, the sum for it will be what? Sum for it will be 1 and carry will be what? Carry will be Okay. Similar combination can also be seen here in this table and we can see that 0, 1, 0 here is this one and uh, this corresponds to this 0, 1 where this uh, symbol basically this sigma basically represents the sum uh, while the carry is represented by C output which is here. Okay. So, this is the first combination. Similarly, for part B here, what we have? We have A equal to 1, B equal 0 and C input equal 1. Okay. We can very easily see that in this particular case. Okay. So, let me remove it. So, in this particular case, what I will have? I will have to add 1 plus 0 plus 1 and add the output of it. What I will get? I will get 1 plus 1 is so, I will get here 1 0. Okay. So, what it will give me at the output of this sum, it will give me what? It will give me 0 while the carry here will be 1. Okay. So, this is what we have. This is a sum. This is a carry and uh, the combination 1 0 1 can also be seen here that here we can see that this is 1 0 and that is the output of it. Okay. So, this is for part B what we similarly for part C here, we can see that here I have A equal 0, B equal to 0 and carry input is 0. Okay. So, we can very easily see that here this combination, score, combination corresponds to the first one here and uh, here the output will be 0 and carry output will be 0 and summation will also be 0 at as can be seen here. Okay. So, these are different parts of my first question which I have uh, solved here and uh, I think all the concepts related to the full header are now covered. Okay. So, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment box. Take care of yourself and I will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video.